Exploring distant worlds could be key to discoveries on Earth. And this week, an assortment of space experts meet at UT Austin, part of the Ninth Interstellar Symposium. The conference aims to push the boundaries of space travel. KXN's senior science reporter Eric Hendrickson looks at why this group says art is key to traversing the stars. It's a rather unusual science conference. In one room, experts discussing beaming human minds into deep space with lasers. While next door, artists like Ross High put their space-themed art on display. I might take a little balloon dog, or there's a kind of a John Travolta pose with the disco ball, kind of dig that one. The mixture of researchers, authors, and artists is intentional at the ninth Annual Interstellar Symposium. We're not going to build a community of support to enable a mission um, if we can't tell the story of why this is important. Interstellar Research Group President Joe Meany says they focus this year's conference on trekking deep space. But how do we actually apply that to the benefit of people in the near term and improve their communities? So how do we travel beyond our solar system? Physicist and science fiction author Les Johnson says the biggest challenge is distance. Well, science fiction often makes, science, makes interstellar travel look easy. Get in the ship, hit the warp drive, you're at Alpha Centauri, right? But Johnson says that it would take even our fastest ship 70,000 years to reach the nearest star. That doesn't mean we can't do it eventually. This group is about building consensus that we need to start thinking now to plan for that future. And I'm of the believer that if you don't start planning for the future today, then that future you want may not happen. The symposium will run until Wednesday and includes tours of UT's Space Labs and Firefly Aerospace's Rocket Ranch. In Austin, Texas, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News. And going in depth, just this month, the European Space Agency observed interstellar comet 3I Atlas. This was as it passed close to Mars. Now, the comet is the slightly fuzzy white dot you see right there. It's from outside of our solar system and it's on a course that's going to take it closer to Earth. Now, these are rare. Most things in our solar system, like our moon and other planets, share a common origin. But this comet, again, is not from our solar system, and based on early analysis, scientists think this could be the oldest comet ever observed to date at 3 billion years old.